First Citizen shares soar 50% after the bank buys a large chunk of failed Silicon Valley Bank. Let's dive into the details, shall we? First Citizens Bank shares will buy Silicon Valley Bank's deposits and loans, the U.S. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation said Monday, just over two weeks after the biggest U.S. banking collapse since the global financial crisis. First Citizen shares jumped more than 53% during Monday trading on Wall Street. The deal includes the purchase of approximately $72 billion of SVB assets at a discount of $16.5 billion, but around $90 billion in securities and other assets will remain in receivership for deposition by the FDIC. In addition, the FDIC received equity appreciation rights in First Citizens Bank Shares Inc. Rally North Carolina common stock with a potential value of up to $500 million, the FDIC said in a release. The deal comes after the regulator transferred the SVB deposits and assets into a new bridge bank earlier this month in an effort to protect depositors of the failed lender. <clears throat> The 17 former branches of Silicon Valley Bridge Bank National Association will open as First Citizens Bank and Trust Company on Monday, March 27, 2023, the FDIC said a uh, statement said Monday. First Citizens Bank and Trust Company is a subsidiary of First Citizens Bank shares. Customers of Silicon Valley Bridge Bank National Association should continue to use their current branch until they receive notice from First Citizens Bank and Trust Company that systems con conversions have been completed to allow full service banking at all of its other branch locations. First Citizens and the FDIC also entered into a loss share transaction in which the FDIC absorbs part of the loss on a particular pool of assets on the commercial loans purchased from the SVB Bridge Bank. The loss share transaction is projected to maximize recoveries on the assets by keeping them in a, the private sector. The transaction is also expected to minimize disruptions for loan customers, the FDIC explained. The regulator added that the estimated cost of SVB's failure to its deposit insurance fund will be around $20 billion, with the exact cost determined once the receiverships is terminated. Regulators closed down SVB, a big name in the tech and venture capital sector, and took control of its deposits March 10th. The collapse came after the bank's clientele withdrew billions from their accounts and the value of assets previously viewed as safe, such as U.S. Treasury bills and government-backed mortgage securities, dropped dramatically in the face of the Federal Reserve's aggressive interest rate hikes. This left the bank floundering as it attempted to raise $2.25 billion to meet clients' withdrawal needs and fund new lending. As of March 10th, the SVB Bridge Bank had around $167 billion in total assets and approximately $119 billion in total deposits, the FDIC confirmed. SVB's collapse sent shockwaves through the global banks and was cited as one of the catalysts for Swiss giant Credit Suisse's eventual downfall and emergency rescue by domestic rival UBS. However, many analysts believe the ensuing market volatility has been unwarranted given the idea-centratic flaws that left the likes of SVB and Credit Suisse exposed and caused a loss of investor confidence. Yeah, they say that, but I think this is just going to get worse. This is just the beginning. The rates are just going to keep getting hiked. The economy is just going to keep getting worse. It's a lot, like I've said in other videos, it's a lot like the 2008 crisis. Banks failed in March, and then the whole system collapsed in September. So I am personally predicting something very similar this year. But that's just my opinion. What's your opinion on the story? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel for daily news updates, hit that notification bell. And share, share this video to help share the news. Spread the news. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.